This is the Vivo monitor stand. It's got this really heavy base here. This thing feels pretty solid, pretty heavy. But yeah, this is it, the Vivo uh, monitor tower, I guess. You can put three monitors up on it. And you see right here, this is my wife's home office. She's got three monitors on her desk here. And she wants to change things to this setup here. So she got this Vivo monitor stand. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can put it together here. It's got the kind of the tower here, the pipes and everything to go on the tower. And then it's got a you know box full of hardware here, all the different hardwares. So we'll go ahead and put this together and see how it looks. So the first step here shows you attach the pipe into the base of the monitor stand. And it says that is what you need is parts SA, that's little screws, and then TB for the little Allen key. Um, they weren't really labeled. The bag over here has got MAs and MBs, but there's no, but there's no SAs. So it looks like the this bag right here that had the Allen keys in it, it's got three screws right here. So it looks like these are the screws that we're going to go ahead and screw into the base of the monitor stand. Okay, you have two pipes here. One's got a cap on top, and it's finished. And then the other one's got the screw holes. And they both have threads on the other end. And this one here has got the screws in it. So this is what we're going to attach to the base. So I just turned the base upside down on the desk. That way I can get in there to see the holes here so that I can screw them in. Just kind of get it started by hand so that I don't cross thread anything. This is a little bit tricky. It may fit a little bit better if you do it this way. And then hand screw them in down here. You can't really see what you're doing. You just kind of got to go by feel. So whichever way works best. If you can get them in up here or if you got to flip it around. And then once you get it in, you can tighten it up with your Allen key there. The base is the trickiest part, but once you get this in, it should go pretty easy from here. So to make sure I get this tightened down pretty good, I'm not going to tighten it all the way. I'm just going to tighten it good here, and then I'll just kind of work my way around in the circle. Sometimes when you tighten one down, it can loosen up another. It's kind of like if you're tightening the lug nuts on your car tire. Not quite. You don't have that rotation, but still you can feel it. Looks like it's all feeling pretty snug. You just want to make sure this is nice and tight so that your base will be really strong. So yeah, this looks pretty good. That feels pretty strong on there, pretty stable, pretty weighted too. I mean, I'm like pulling on it. It doesn't feel like it's moving anywhere, but it does seem like it could go backwards. So I think if everything fits on here, the weight should be distributed pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I think this is gonna look pretty nice. All right, we got these nice cable management ties here. They got the clips on the back for the cords. So it looks like they will go in next. This is H and then that will go to the pipe and then we'll put the arm on next. So that goes down. The arm is a little bit tricky. I can't tell which way is top or which way is bottom. I'm assuming where those uh, Allen keys are, that's the top in case you want to adjust anything can't quite tell in the picture here but it does look like those go up there so I'm assuming this is the top it doesn't want to go anywhere I think we have to loosen this up here to loosen this one up to get in there to, to lower this to the whatever height we want We'll loosen this up a little bit till we figure out where we want to have this. There you go. I'm not sure where we want to put these. All right, so we're trying to figure out where the monitors go because we got, it looks like, two sets here, but we don't know where we put the third monitor. And we were thinking they sent us the wrong one, but it has another piece here. This one's for the single monitor. So if you had two single monitors on the bottom, it would go this way, and then a single, if you had double monitors on the bottom, and then a single monitor on the top, you would do this. But my wife said she wants to try it with a big monitor on the bottom and the two smaller monitors on top. So we're going to change our configuration here for that setup. So same thing here. It's got the screw hole on the top there. So this looks like the top. 
and then the bottom's just got the thread, so pretty sure this is the top. So we're going to put this down to about where we'd have the monitor. I think that, you know, right about there. Probably not high enough. To judge where the monitor is. At least we'll make it a little bit tight and then we can adjust it some more. Once we... So to tighten it, you just use the Allen key there and then tighten it up a little bit. And then we can adjust it, but uh, you can make it snug back here so that the lap, so that the monitor won't slip. All right, so for these Dell monitors, they're pretty nice. It's just got a cover on the back and then you just pull the cover off and you can access the screws right there. All right, you can use a drill to take these off. Just be careful when you put it back on not to over tighten it. So you may want to use a regular screwdriver when you tighten these back up. Your monitor may be a little bit different, but once you unscrew this one, then the base will slide out. If you look down in here, there's a little picture of a pin. I don't know if you can see that, but you just take your screwdriver or a pin to pop that in there, and then this slides out. It could be totally different on your monitor, but if you have a Dell monitor, that's how this one comes off. And then you got your nice little stand there. And we can put in our new one. Once you put the washer on, you'll need just a tiny bit longer screw. So we're gonna go ahead and use the ones they recommend, not the ones that were attached to the monitor stand. All right, I just got these in here hand tight and I'm going to use a regular screwdriver to tighten them because this is a plastic housing down here and if you over tighten this with your uh, power drill it could possibly crack the monitor could crack this uh, plastic case on the monitor so we're just going to hand tighten these as tight as they need to be but we're not going to over tighten them you could theoretically crack the mon crack the monitor housing with these regular screwdrivers, but I mean, you'd have to really crank down on it. Where the drill happens so quick and so fast, you could over tighten it really quick and then end up cracking back here on the plastic. And we don't want to do that. This is my wife's monitor in her office and she'd be unhappy if I came in here and just busted everything up. So we're gonna try and do this as carefully as possible. Okay, so there's the top piece here, and that should fit on there. And then it's got a track here that slides into here. So we can slide this in here like that, and then we can get an idea of what our height needs to be. I think we want to lower it a little bit. That seems kind of high. Okay, what do you think about right there? How does that look? Does that yeah. look good? Yeah. Okay, we got approval there. Now we'll tighten this back up. Oops, it slipped okay. a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> this is a little precarious. All right, that's as tight as it goes. That feels pretty good. And you can see you can adjust this here in different ways to get it. There's a screw hole back here that should tighten it up so it's not so loose. Next parts in the instructions is we got this thing here that will attach the two pipes together and then another cable tie. We're going to go ahead and put our cable tie on first. That way we'll have the two monitors here. Their cords will come down into the cable ties there. And then we got this screw piece. It's got a couple of Allen key screws there. So once you get this screwed in, you can tighten it up so that it doesn't go anywhere. All right, we'll see how it works. The trick is we want these to be in the back, not the front. We'll see if it works out that way. We might need to unscrew it because it feels like it won't screw any further. Yeah, so you have to loosen this up a little bit before you screw this on. Same with the top, I imagine, so we'll get both of these loosened up. Well, perfect. It lined up in the back. Now we're going to take the big one and put it up here. Alright, 
so this is going to go down onto the pipe like that. So these things need to come, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, vertical, parallel? They need to, anyways, they need to come down here like this. So I had to loosen them up a little bit to get down here. Because they were like... Because they're like this. <laughs> yeah, and that's not going to work. It's a little bit tricky because when you look in here, you can't get to the screw. That's the screw you need to get into right back there. And so you have to just kind of push this out the best you can in order to... I guess you could loosen this up too right here mm -hmm. and then get to that. Or you could just do it like I did it, whatever you prefer. Oh, you don't need to loosen that one up. Never mind. It's this one up here. Don't listen to me. Same thing here. That's the bottom. And then this will be the top where the screw heads are. And then we just kind of figure out where we want this. So we might want to put the other monitor on here so we can kind of get a gauge for where this mm -hmm. needs to be. That thing's quite a contraption. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the monitor on so we can kind of get an idea on how high we want to put that next level. All right, so these will need to clear. I'm not sure if this is how we're going to do these. This can move, so we can kind of get this figured out where we want it. I think the monitors kind of need to line up like so they meet in the middle but we got to get the height right this is probably too low uh -huh. so now we got to take all this off of here and get the other monitors ready to go now that's what we'll have to do all right so the the one disadvantage is taking these off because these are so nice see how they can slide and go up and down <laughs> these are really nice but anyways, they're a little bit difficult to take off. You don't see anything, any screws here, but there's a button you push. They're difficult. And then you, can see, <laughs> then you can see the screw holes there. But yeah, it's just pushing that button and then it releases it. So this monitor is a little bit tricky because it's got a box here. The other monitor was opened on the end so we could slide the um, arm into here. We can't do that with this one. So we're gonna have to use some of these um, spacers there. We're doing this one upside down. There's the Dell logo. So this goes here at the top. Now we got those spacers in there. This one's also got that button there, but I think it should still clear here. But this one's a little more precarious because this is recessed and then it's got the button on the end of there. We could always tape that down if we have any issue installing this. You may not have that problem on yours, but that's one of the things we had to deal with. Once you get these hand tightened with your fingers, then you can go in here and uh, tighten them up a little bit with the screwdriver. Like I was saying before, just try not to over tighten it. You don't want to risk cracking the plastic housing on the monitor. All right, it's a little bit tricky to get it lined up just right, but uh, this is kind of how you do it. We'll play around with it and see if we get it how we want it have to see what works best. We may switch it around to where we got the two bottom monitors. We may switch it around to where we got the two monitors on the top, on the bottom. But my wife said she wants the big monitor down on the bottom and the two smaller monitors on the top. So we'll have to go ahead and uh, play around with this and see what she wants to do here. But yeah, these are on here pretty good. You got the clamps on there. You can adjust it over here with your Allen keys there and up here with the Allen keys. Kind of see what it looks like back there in the mirror. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm thinking she's going to put this over in the corner there. And then she'll have a lot more desk space here. So we'll see what she thinks of this. This goes on the back of the monitor. To hold it in place. So we're going to put this in that hole right there. You can see how the monitor's kind of flopping around. 
and so that will keep it in place. That one's pretty easy, but these are a little trickier. These have a little formula here. This goes on the nib, and then these screws go in to hold it in place. So let me show you how to do that. You put this on up here, like that. Now I have these uh, DeWalt screwdrivers, and I, I highly recommend getting some magnetic screwdrivers. This will be a lot easier, because then if you have a little screw like this, you can just put the and hold it, otherwise it'll be falling off and be a real pain, because this is kind of tricky to get up in here and do this. But that was a lot easier with a magnetic screwdriver. So you got that one in, and then you do the same thing on the other one. One cool thing about these cord covers is they have an area for the Allen keys. So you can put the Allen keys there in case you need to make any adjustments. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got the monitor stand up over here in the corner. And then uh, my wife did like that setup, so we decided to go with that with the big monitor on the bottom and then the two smaller monitors on the top. So yeah, this thing's pretty nice. It's pretty stable too. You know, you can pull on it up here and it does move a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall down at all. But yeah, that's pretty nice to be able to sit there and then use the big monitor and then have the two small monitors on top. It looks pretty nice. The bottom monitor is a 24 inch monitor and then the top two monitors are 21 inch monitors. I think the next thing we'll do is we'll try and get one of those clip lamps and put that up on the top there and then that could come over to be the monitor lamp so that it just goes straight down to the desktop there to the uh, keyboard and stuff. I think that would look pretty cool. I plan on making some more videos about my desk setup and if you want to check them out they'll be in my desk setup playlist right here.